I'm joined today by my friend Adam Malusi and his 25-foot Parker. Now Adam is about to uninstall this older bracket and reinstall a new Armstrong bracket. Now, like anybody that's going to undergo this process, he was met with a bunch of questions and to be absolutely certain he was doing everything right to prepare for this installation, we came to speak with a couple of experts from Armstrong Nautical Products. Now, Adam, you had questions when you started going through the measuring process and all that stuff. Why don't we get into a little specifics on some of the speed bumps that you encountered and how we're about to deal with those. So Josh, Lawrence, a few of my questions were, I had a couple through holes, underwater lights, my transom was a little bit different from everybody else's. It was a little bit curved, and I wasn't comfortable taking the measurements without coming and asking you two experts um, on what needs to be done to take the correct measurements to install this Armstrong bracket. Okay, Adam, so the first thing what we ask people to do is take a picture of the transom, right? So we can see what's going on back there, whether you have through hull fittings, underwater lights, you know, pads, curves, whatever it is, right. we're gonna, you know, build it accordingly to maximize flotation with the bracket. That's what you're after. You know, you got these, these brackets that don't provide any flotation, but we're gonna maximize custom build this bracket for you. So we're gonna go through those measurements today with this bracket form. And I know you had a couple of questions. You've actually seen this form and you did have a couple of questions where you ran into you weren't 100% sure. That's that right. You were measuring it properly. That's right. So it's important to make sure that you've got that exactly right. What are some of the common pitfalls that people run up against trying to do this? So some people get transom angle and dead rise mixed up. And the dead rise is the V shape of the hull and the transom angle is, you know, on the on the back, the angle of the transom. So, you know, that's why it's crucial that we, we put a little diagram there to show how to get the transom angle accurately. 